Hey guys, what I have for you is an unboxing video here of the iHome IPL8 dual charging stereo FM clock radio with lightning dock and a USB charge on the back. So we're going to go ahead and go around the box here before we get into it. Um, there is the front of the box. It's made for iPod, iPhone. As you can see, it does have the new lightning connector. And there is the front of the package. Okay, we'll go around the box here and then we'll get a little more into it. And there is the side. Shows the lightning connector here. It also shows a USB port, which it has on the back. Um, the USB port connector would be the 30 pin connector, which is the old style connector. So this will charge older iPhones and iPods. And there, of course, is the new style, the lightning connector. And it says right here, guys, USB works with iPhone 5, 4S, 4, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 3G, iPod Touch 2nd generation through 5th generation, and iPod Nano 3rd generation through 7th generation. So there's a little bit on that and what it supports. And of course, on the back, there's a USB port. And you can see this older phone plugged into it, and then the iPhone 5 plugged in. So there it says dual charge and play, so we'll find out. Uh, let's take a look at the back of the box here. Um, there's just a little information on everything, the, you know, the bass sound, the lightning dock, and the lightning connector. Um, over here you have the digital FM tuner and the buttons on the top. A little bit about the, the sound system. A little bit about the sure alarm okay guys and USB charging so what I want to try here after I get it out of the box I want to see if it charges an iPad 2 which I have sitting here and we're gonna try that so that's what I'm interested in this does not come with a USB charging cable the old 30 pin style so don't expect that to be in the box and there is the iHome IPL 8 and then, of course, um, some information here, wake to iPhone, iPod, radio, and buzzer. Programmable snooze, sleep timers, all, all some good information here. It comes with one-year uh, limited warranty. And, of course, back to the front and then on the bottom, we have some other good information here. Lightning connector works with the iPhone 5, the iPod Touch, 5th generation, iPod Nano, 7th generation. And here is the USB information. USB works with iPhone 5, 4S, 4, 3G, 3G, S, 3G, and iPod Touch 2nd through 5th, iPod Nano 3rd through the 7th, okay? And here is another model number that it also goes by, which is IPL8BX, okay? UPC, and that is pretty much the box, and then you have the top, okay? Stereo clock radio. Charges new lightning and legacy models. So guys, let's get this thing out of the box. We will not need the box up here, so we will chuck that out of the road and get digging in here. Okay, so there it looks like we have an antenna, and I believe we have the back of it. This is the back of the device. Looks like you get your normal stuff in here, some flyers, we'll get these out of the package quick, so you guys can take a look, okay, just some stuff in there, different models and, and whatnot, we'll chuck that out of the road, and then of course you get, you get your uh, manuals here, so there is what the manuals look like and as you can see one year limited warranty then of course you know I walk through the entire manual this also comes with a, um, a battery on the bottom which is the CR2450 battery and apparently there's a pull tab on the very bottom here we'll take a look at if I can find it and show you guys what that's all about a little bit so there you go, that's like the, you know, the manual. Okay, so we looked at that. Now right here on the back of this, if 
we can get a good shot of what it says here. It says right here, if you can see, iPod, iPhone, USB dock. And then, of course, your, your port here for your adapter to plug into the wall. And then your antenna. So on the very bottom of this unit, right here is the pull tab for that battery. And then you have the information here, model IPL8, iHome, and the information on the bottom there. So there it says what it uses, clock backup, DC 3 volt, CR2450. Okay, so that is the bottom. It looks like there's a port there for some cutouts for the speaker. And here's what the top of the iHome looks like. So you got your volume, your play and pause, probably a, um, some tuner, plus and minus tuner knobs, a power button, mode, just some general buttons there and a snooze dimmer button. Okay, and then you have, I got the the seventh generation iPod Nano here, and we can go ahead and take a look at plugging this in there. And we'll see how that fits in there. So that sits right in there. Okay, I accidentally hit the power button there. I didn't, I, this is not plugged in or nothing. So that sits in there like that. And I also found it strange that on these, like the headphones for these iPod Nanos are on the bottom and not the top. Oh well, don't know why, but anyway, back to the unboxing of, of this. So let's go, we'll go around it. If, if you can see in there, you can see a speaker in there. Looks like some pretty, it, it's got a little weight to it. It's pretty solid. So looks like they're pretty nice size speaker in there. Okay. And there's all the way around. A speaker on this side also. So there's speakers on both sides. And there, of course, is the front with an iHome logo. And that. So let's go ahead and we'll get the... Let's get the uh, these cardboard things out of the road. And we'll get the AC adapter out. Here is the AC adapter. Like any other standard AC adapter. So, let's get this stuff out of the road so we can get this thing plugged in. Alright, I'm going to plug this in, guys. We're going to go ahead and plug the AC into it and see, see what happens here. Okay, so we have power. We have our clock there. Now, one, one thing I want to try. Here's what's, what I'm interested in knowing. The USB port on the back, this here is an iPad 2. So what I want to do, I want to plug this iPad 2 in to the back into the USB port. We are going to see charged, if it is going to charge. And it looks like it is charging. Eighty-three percent, and there is a lightning bolt next to the charger there. So yes, it does charge iPads. So you can plug your iPad in, and you can have your iPod Nano plugged in, and be doing your dual charge for both devices. So that is pretty cool, and yes, it is showing charged. Because if I unplug it from the iHome and plug it into my computer on USB 2.0, you can see where it says 83% charge. But you're going to see where it says not charging. And I just plugged that into my computer. And that is because you need to have a USB 3.0 port for this to work. So some older style computers, if you guys get that, that's why it's not working. You need to upgrade. So I just wanted to confirm that. So with this type of connector, which is obviously the older type connector, if you guys have this cable and you have older devices, you can use them with this uh, iHome. So it's a pretty cool device. So that's all I got for you guys for the unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, comment on my channel. We'll see you guys later.